Malala Yousafzai, born on July 12, 1997, in northern Pakistan. She's always had a passion for education growing up, as her father was an educator at the school she attended. She learned about activism and the rights for women concerning education and thus promoted the importance of education at an early age. In 2007, her town, Swat Valley, which was at one time a popular tourist location, had become a home for the terrorists. Swat, located in northern Pakistan, was taken over by the Taliban in an attempt to bring about major changes such as no education for girls, banning women in the public scene, and bombings were happening at schools. She started to fight for rights with her father's support and started to make speeches about the basic fundamental rights for women in that area. She widely spoke against the Taliban and how they were using Islam for their personal benefit and twisting words and texts around to benefit them. Malala's hometown wasn't her hometown after an attempt to take it over by the Taliban, which they succeeded in blowing up a vast majority of the schools and making it difficult for girls to attend schools. While Malala and her family went into hiding, she still wrote for daily newspaper on the violence and even went on TV to express her views and opinions. As media attention started garnering around her, Taliban wanted to take action against her for defying all odds. Malala and her friends would still get up and go to school while other girls would be too scared to attend school. They would hide their books so they wouldn't get caught. But that would suddenly come to an end when she was shot on her way home from school along with two of her friends. She was taken into local hospital and then transferred to the United Kingdom for further treatments as her health was deteriorating. Malala luckily survived to tell it all and shared her experience and became the role model for girls all around the world to not give up the fight. She stood in front of a huge audience of more than 500 guests at the United Nations. Along with receiving award from United Nations for her work and her fight for girls' education, she also received in 2014 for the youngest recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. She did not let her dreams go in vain and had her Malala Fund established to help girls to get education as that is their basic right. She wrote two books, which became a big hit. She continues her fund for girls' education and her political science degree at Oxford University in the UK. Malala opened a school near the Syrian border in Lebanon for Syrian refugees, which was funded by her non-profit organization. Her popularity is growing day by day, and girls are following her footsteps to be a Malala. Malala has dreams and aspirations to get in the political scenery and become a prime minister of Pakistan one day. Her quote is very much echoed throughout the world that education will eradicate extremism and poverty. The Taliban shot her to silence her, but instead, Malala has spread throughout the world in each and every person fighting for education, equal opportunity, fighting to end poverty or basic rights to life.